If you're in the market for the ultimate in fuel economy, you're definitely going to want to check out this vehicle right here. Hi, Chris Kelly here for Vehicles Test, and today we're taking a look at the new third generation Prius from Toyota. This is one of the hottest cars on the lot. Now, Toyota says this vehicle will get 50 miles per gallon combined city and highway. Well, we're going to test it out today and find out if that's true. When you're driving on the highway, the gas engine is on much of the time, but even so, we got an average of 46.2 miles per gallon in our combined city highway driving test. That's as good or better than most motorcycles. But when we engage the eco mode, fuel economy jumped to 56.7 miles per gallon. So what you lose in acceleration, you gain in fuel economy. Once you exit the freeway and start working your way around the local roads, the electric motor really comes into play. When you're braking, the gas engine shuts off and the spinning wheels put an electric charge back into the battery. When you're accelerating gradually, the gas engine is still off and the Prius runs entirely on electricity, which is what really cranks up its fuel economy. Only when you really lean on the pedal does the gas engine kick in for extra power, and then it shuts off as you cruise. So most of the time in city driving, the power is alternating from all electric to electric plus gas assist. And while we're talking about performance, our test showed that the Prius is nothing like a slow-to-go electric car. Thanks to the gas engine power, the Prius went from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 11.3 seconds, and for highway passing it went from 50 to 70 miles an hour in just 6.4 seconds. It covered the quarter mile in 17.5 seconds, which is a bit quicker than the Gen 2 version, and hit a top end speed of 77.6 miles per hour at the finish line. And in terms of emergency braking, we were able to bring the Prius down from 70 miles an hour to zero in just 4.1 seconds and 215 feet, thanks to disc brakes on all four wheels. This is great peace of mind if something unexpectedly shows up in your path. The Prius is also exceptionally quiet too, recording just 65 decibels at highway speeds. Now let's take a good look at this hybrid Synergy Drive, which is 90% newly developed in the Gen 3 version. Up forward under the hood, you find the compact 1.8 liter four cycle engine. This is the first Toyota power plant that requires no belts under the hood for better fuel economy and less potential maintenance. In the rear trunk area just ahead of the spare tire, you'll find the big nickel metal hydride battery for electric drive operation. This puts out 80 horsepower and 153 pound-feet of torque. Now another great feature of the hybrid Synergy Drive is how quiet it is. Toyota has engineered the Prius to be very quiet inside and out. Now right now the engine is off. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There it goes. I got 51 decibels with it off, 55 with it on. Almost imperceptible. And in between the two, the inner workings of the system have also been improved for better efficiency. The transaxle is lighter and reduces torque loss by as much as 20%. The inverter has a new cooling system to reduce size and weight. And all combined, the inverter, motor, and transaxle are smaller and 20% lighter than previous versions, all of which means better fuel economy for you. Another very important factor in fuel economy is aerodynamics. The overall height of the Gen 3 Prius is the same, but engineers changed the profile by moving the top of the roof back nearly 4 inches which emphasizes the Prius's wedge shape even more. And of course, it also improves headroom in the back seats, which we'll see in a moment. In addition, Toyota says the new Prius has undergone more wind tunnel hours of testing than any other Toyota in history, resulting in what they call the cleanest aerodynamic profile of any mass-produced vehicle in the world. They studied airflow under the car extensively and modified the fender liner and front surface of the underfloor for better performance. The new Prius has three specialty driving modes. EV drive means the Prius is running purely on battery power and it can go at low speeds for about one mile in this mode. The power mode increases sensitivity to throttle input for sportier performance and the eco mode provides the best fuel economy. Fact is you really don't need to push any of these buttons since it will also automatically control all of them for you. Now looking around in the cockpit, we see the joystick engine control is mounted atop a bridge that covers a big storage area designed to handle even bulky purses. The joystick itself is unlike anything you've likely experienced before, since it sends commands by wire to the transmission, so it returns to its center position after each command, forward, neutral, or reverse. And in another nice touch, the air conditioning is very powerful, and it stays on strong even when operating in battery mode or waiting in a traffic light. 
Another nice thing about the Gen 3 Prius is when they did the redesign, they paid a lot of attention to the interior. In the back seat, there's no problem for all three of these kids. See you later. And since the Prius has been designed to be a mid-sized family sedan, Toyota has even improved storage in the trunk by expanding the area by 0.4 inches in length and 2.2 inches in width, thanks to an improved layout of the battery cooling unit. There's even a little extra hidden storage compartment here for miscellaneous gear. Finally, let's talk about safety features. In addition to front and rear side curtain airbags, there are driver and passenger seat mounted airbags and even a driver's knee airbag, all standard. In terms of options, there's this moonroof with solar panels that can actually start the air conditioning system before you even get into the car. Along with other high-tech features like dynamic radar cruise control, lane keep assist, a pre-collision system and backup monitor, which is all tied in with a voice-activated navigation system. So what have we learned about the new Generation 3 Prius? Well, we know it's a little bit roomier, it's quieter, it's got better performance, and even better fuel economy than all the other Priuses that came before it. In fact, you're going to save so much money on gas, you might be able to join a country club like this one.